Hey, hey everybody, welcome to the life of a board gamer. Uh, today we have another look at the digital version of the game and we are going to take a closer look at the Lorenzo Il Magnifico. Now this is, as you can see, an early access. It says right over here or there, not really sure where. Uh, so this is early access. It is still a little bit buggy. While well, I have, a, I had the pleasure to, to get an early access for the game and see how it works and everything. There's only an offline component, but I usually play it like that since I don't have to wait for other players to play. It goes much quicker when you are playing against AI. So yeah, let's take a look and see how this game works and what it does. I'll click, quickly explain you how the game works and we'll play a quick two-player game just so you can see how everything is done. So options, there's really not that many options. Some graphic details, sound effects. Let's just turn down sound effects a little bit. Uh, there's camera parallax which I really like so you'll see how that works nothing fancy but yeah, it's kind of a little bit fancy so tutorial you have tutorial but you I'll not show you the tutorial because I will explain you how the game works and now you can choose how many players you want to play you can go three four players up to four players you can play with leaders or choose your basic income but for now we are just going to play a two-player game uh, we will not choose anything, we will not play with leaders, I don't want to overwhelm you with all this stuff. I'll leave you to discover how all this work. And so here, here we are in the game. Now I am positioned up here because this is the only uh, place in this map where I will not uh, block some information for you to see while I play the quick two player game. So basically what you're doing in this game, you have your family members and some of these People are clearly uh, real-life persons. I don't know any of these right now, but some of them you will you will recognize them. Maybe you recognize even some of these. I don't know. But basically, all of these members get assigned the dice with the value, and this one will always be zero. And you will use your family members to go over here on and pick some territories, some new characters for buildings and ventures. And you will get some stuff from here. For example, if you build some territories, you will get these harvest icons. And when you go up here and you go on a harvest, for example, you pick a die number four, everything that is up to four harvest with the, as you can see, there's dice here. And you will get these, uh, you will get these resources, whatever they are. And uh, also you have these buildings that have production icons that you acquire. And when you go with the workshop and do production action also you will pick a die whichever one you want you'll see throughout the game how it works and everything and you then you do production and get all these different resources also what you have here are some regular places in four player games these are open too you have some things over here and here but when you are playing two player game you only get you go here and you get five gold or you can go here and get five extra workers now these extra workers, these purple ones, they're always uh, marked with uh, number one. And basically what they're doing, they will boost up your dice. So as you can see, for example, if you want to access this top two rows of the building, this one is five, which is fine, but this one is seven. So you have to have dice with a seven. Since we don't have that, we only have number six die. And as you can see, it automatically added one worker and it shows you over here that you will spend one worker to activate this one. And you will get some bonuses over here. It tells you you, okay, you, will, you are picking monastery and this is what you will get from it. And during the harvest, you will have number six. If you activate it with a six die, you'll get one fate and one stone, which is super cool. And uh, over here, you can, uh, this is the council palace. And here you can put a die, so you can choose uh, to go first in the next round. And this game is played over three rounds. Each round is consisted of day phase and the night phase. And then at the end of each phase, you will have to go here to church. And in the first uh, era, they will ask you for three fate, or you will have throughout the game decreased the value of all your colored family members by one. Now the, those are these three members, not this one. This one is always a zero. So if you don't pay them three fate or give them three fate, you will get some minus things for the rest of the game. So you really want to complete all this, but you can choose not to even if you have fate. It is really up to you. And then over here, if you need to spend two servants to increase the value of the actions by one, thus you need four servants. 
So this one is, uh, if you don't have four fate, at the end of era two will give you some negative stuff and era three, but we'll go through it as as we as we play the game. And basically, that is that. Down here is uh, your when you acquire territories, there will there will be a book showing here that you have one territory or so, and over here you will keep your characters, and uh, the yellow one is uh, buildings, and this over here goes adventures. And you, your basic resources, your fate, your military, gold, stone, and wood that you collect throughout the game. And that is basically a rough explanation how the game plays. Now, let's start with the game and see how this game works. First, we need to choose where are we going to send our family members. So I will definitely try and get this one because this fate thing is pretty important in this game you really don't want all that negative stuff I mean sometimes it's really not that bad you can take it because it's something you're not going for for example all of your buildings need an extra production stuff oh yeah one thing I forgot to mention uh, when you go and do harvest or production actions first time everything is cool everything is okay the dice are the value that they are but as soon as somebody went there you have to you have to pay extra to activate all the dice and over here on the buildings where the territories characters buildings and ranchers are when you send your character in one column you cannot send another colored character that means that orange white or black character cannot go over here but this one that is always worth zero so he is zero uh, he is worth how many extra these workers are you willing to spend so you can send him on the same location as you already sent one of your characters, but you have to pay like a lot of workers depending which one you want to hit. And each time you buy something from any of the columns, uh, that column automatically gets this little flag over here will roll out, as you will see, and it will say number three. So that means anyone who goes here after the first player has went has to pay extra three gold to activate any of these, get any of these characters or activate buildings or whatever. So let me see what this one does. So for uh, two gold, I will get four fate points and I don't take usual bonuses when you take an asset from the third or four. Oh, so when I'm buying these three and four, I don't get these bonus assets from it. But it is kind of cool because I get four fate which I don't have to worry then on to the rest of the game I would most definitely take this one and I will play the one because the number one is required at least number one is required to get this one and I will recruit the preacher and that is that as you can see there is a red flag I'm a red player and the one over here that means I cannot play another character here except this one zero and I end my turn and now we see what the green does and green bought a building and we are going to buy something as you can see now it's a you need to pay three if you want to get this or even something from around here and i will i will go and i will purchase i will purchase myself more gold for this round because i want to wait a second let me just quickly check it no, I really don't want to go for this one because now I don't get any bonuses because of that character I took. Now this game can have some analysis paralysis. Yeah, I will probably just waste my 4 with this one over here and I'll conquer the village. And there is a limit how many you ha can have of these. You have to get some military so you can have more territories. So you have to uh, watch for that and try to work make everything work like it's supposed to and I'll go and do a harvest action now and as you can see number six activates all of these and I'll harvest everything or I could maybe no no I'll use just a six and harvest all of these just to get myself a bunch of resources I could go for this gold gold is pretty valuable in this game and over here as you can see there are little candles lighting up that means how much fate you have and you can also see it down here but basically it shows you did you reach the goal that the church wants you to reach or you didn't and you know what i'll go for this decree because these two 
will get me the resources of my choice no no i don't want to do that i want to go for the gold i need gold and automatically one worker you already played this turn. oh oh <laughs> i already played i need to end my turn so i can let the other player play yeah that was a little bit stupid of me okay so yeah we are going to take some little gold over here now we have five golds to spend for the next round and this is the end of the day round as soon as this guy plays his turn and now we are in the night phase as you can see it is night and all the buildings are refreshed everything is new here so i will i'll most definitely take this one just because and I'll use the zero one because these are really high numbers I want to use them for something else because the faith as I told you is really really important in this game and let's see what he did okay he bought this one so if I want to take this one and I want to take it I'll do it like so okay so next turn we are going to do some harvest and earn some serious income Okay, he did some extra purchase because of the character, I presume. Okay, so we are going to harvest and we are going to use number 5 since the 5 is the biggest number and nobody went to the harvest action yet. So you just pick it and you get all these resources, which is like super cool, all the military and everything. We need a military, we need 3 military so we can acquire another territory next turn. When the era 2 starts and maybe i should pick this one up uh, yeah also when you pick this up you will just get these points and these resources that are shown down here but this one gives a lot of military but i don't have the money for it because i need three plus two to get this one and that is unfortunate so uh let me just check it yeah it says you can afford this asset it's really cool that you can check can you afford it or not but yeah everything is kind of taken <laughs> oh my god what will i play now okay uh let's see how the workshop production what we have here i can produce some more fate some more gold maybe but it's number six it's like wasting a number but let's do it let's do a production we'll have okay and i choose this to be active so I can get all this fate. Uh, no, do I need fate? No, I won't do this. It's stupid. I'll just take five gold again. As I told you, gold and fate are pretty important in this one. And I end my turn. And now you see you can support the Vatican or you don't have to. But if you don't, then you get penalized until the end of the game, which is really something you don't want to go for. So I will support the Vatican and... That is that as you can see we both did if we didn't it would be a little sign over here that we did not want to support it and the new era begins we are still the number one player nobody played on the council place so let's see what we have here okay so i need this one for sure because the fate you don't have enough military points oh no See, this is what will happen now. I will go for military points and he will buy this on an instant because... Uh, let's repeat one more time. The fate is very important in this game. And yeah, so let me just see one thing. Okay, I can get some military over here. Okay, so we'll take this one. This way I will get five points and I will do a harvest with an, a value of four which is super cool and I can do it with a one. So I will play that and now I can do a harvest with the value of four and I want to bump it up to five so I can get all these military points and do the harvest action. Then I get some gold, some stones, super, super awesome. And I end my turn. Oh my God, he went for gold. That is great. Okay, so I'm instantly buying this one, not a single, drop of doubt is in me and in my turn yeah this will work really great and let's see now what we what shall we buy next i have a lot of gold and i see lots of military here 
and I find that very very interesting because military is kind of important and everything is important in this game uh, you can't send to oh okay so I cannot write see I forgot about the rule I sent one already here so I can't get it here I can only do it with the zero member which means I need to pay four workers to activate no five workers but I don't have enough assets so I cannot get to it which is most unfortunate and I could maybe go for some of these but I really don't like it I don't think these are much of the interest to me so I'll just go for the workers now and I'll pay one and get five which means I get four actually which is eight workers and it looks much better now and now we can go for this one or maybe on this one. no we can't go for this one I mean we could but let me see how much I can produce one fate next turn and with this workshop I could produce one more fate that would mean three fate and we need four fate to not get penalized or excommunicated so ha, very very let's go for this one and see if, and now you can choose if you want to pay with these as you can see I don't have enough resources because you need to have some military and pay some military but I can choose this one and uh, for some reason yeah oh my god I forgot I cannot do it because I already sent a family member here I could only do it with this zero one so this was very stupid of me and yeah because I played like an idiot Jesus I really didn't think this one through, didn't I? I will... You know what I'm going to do? What I'm, going to, I'm going to play over here. And th this way I will get some floor bonuses and I will get the council privilege. This is just so I can keep my number one spot. And I will pick some more military or fate. No, I will pick a fate because I need fate. So I get one gold and one fate which is okay but it's number five I kind of wasted it there uh, this just shows you that I'm really really bad at this game but we are going to get some serious points now let's see if I can get this one I can because I don't have eight military okay let's go and see what this one has this one I can get and I will with the number four and this that gives me two fate and additionally I get six victory points yes and my fate is complete for this turn I have four fate I have fulfilled this one so I can completely leave it and devote myself to other stuff and let's see let's buy some heroes we don't have much heroes and heroes brings victory points with them so what this one does so this one I get two military points and I can take a territory as I was playing a six action which is kind of cool but I won't have enough of these I won't have enough uh, of, of military points to open up another space for so I, that would be a kind of a wasting an action there uh, so let's see if this one still, still remains open I'll go and harvest first so I'll do a harvest with the number six die and I will get some more military that way and maybe maybe if the computer can't hear us and I presume he can't we will get this character over here and he played something like oh yeah oh so he went for the production action which means we are left to pick this one up and I will play this one with extra workers and I will recruit the captain and now we have a number six territory so we can get something cool and I like military I like free workers so we'll go up here for this one and get this territory and some more points this was a good trade if you ask me and the last one is we are left with this guy over here that is worth zero from zero to hero and we have eight military points so I want to go for this one 
this will I will get five gold I will get one fate and in addition five victory points yeah for sure let's do this and this will end my turn I think I'm doing pretty well actually I don't usually go this good and uh, please if this game uh, this game is still in early access so if some bug happens and we have to end game earlier please uh, do know that it is a pre-release pre version of the game and now we have as you can see over here he didn't pay for this one so when he gets workers he will have to use some extra workers it is really not that bad of an action but I really like those extra workers when dice really don't want to go your way and you get all the small numbers you really want those workers to work for you those servants servants but I call them workers and yeah now the new era begins the era 3 and we are at the end of the game now at the end of the era 3 uh, we will at the end of the game you will lose one victory point for every military point you have so we'll see how many military points we have at the end of the game so we can then choose if we want to completely ignore it or not uh, so yeah first action I think I should probably go for the harvest because I have like a lot of things to harvest and I want them to be extra expensive for me so let's harvest for resources for extra workers for everything and he got some extra workers well we got them through harvest and let's boost up some we didn't bought much of these but these are worth really some big points so maybe just maybe we could or I could just take this one and this one says its final price is seven gold and I gain two victory points for each character and I already have two this will be a number three character for me which I think is a okay okay so let's let's purchase this one you can't afford this asset oh I don't have enough gold I'm missing one gold how can I get that one gold oh my lord and if I go for this one I can do a harvest action and if I go then and harvest things everything will be expensive nah not good not good let's let's do it like this let's go first and pick this all this gold and hope that those, that character will still be there when it's our turn to play so he went for harvest no for production once more so we are going to purchase this one now and I will recruit it pay a lot of money for it but it will bring me some serious points at the end of the game and let's see what can we do in, in a production I can produce some more fate I think I want to go for the fate because you can get some serious points if you collect enough fate so I will go for this one I will go for this one as this one will give me to buy some extra stuff and we'll go and then buy this one okay yeah so I will get one fate and one what, what one fate oh there's some as I already told you this is a early access so there's some error here in the graphics but I can take asset from any tower family members seven servants okay so I get to play an extra turn with this one so now I can buy something else can I afford this one I cannot afford this but it will give me three fate which would be a super awesome okay I, I'll go for this harvest action number three you have already played this turn so what but as long as it doesn't matter if I play this turn I want to play this what is happening is it a bug please don't be a bug am I missing something I'm not doing something right okay I guess my turn is wasted I guess it was it kind of stuck there on a bug or something it is what it is it's okay and now we are at the night phase and we have to have 15 military to get this one which I would really really wish to have but then again I have to have like a lot of military how much I can get from here I can get four military from here 
that's 8 plus 4 it's 12 13 14 over here if I get this one I would get 14 and I need a 15 but if I get five of these and then do I could probably get this one and I'll get a lot of fate which is also cool and I will spend all my military you know what I'm going to do this no I will not do it because it needs eight mo eight money and gold and I really have just one gold so this is not an option for me but this one does a really nice production and I don't have all the resources for it okay so what I need to go first is definitely I need to go over here and harvest everything and see how it will go from there hoping he will go for the production as he did which I thank him because now I can get this one over here with the, our number three and no wait wait what but I didn't play my turn no wait oh he's the number one player I'm the number two player I forgot to press the end so he already went for the production sometimes I don't notice these things it is really up to me it's not about the game sometimes I'm just like blind to his plays okay so we'll purchase the church and get one fate that way and then when we go for the production action we'll try and activate that and spend like a bajillion workers on it and see how it is how it works okay so we need five faith so we don't get penalized for all this military that we have and to do that i will play this one and i will boost it to get all these and you can press like so if you want to activate them and i really do want to activate all of these this action is unavailable why because what Oh, because I don't have enough gold for for all of it so I have to like cancel this one and cancel this one so I need to have one and one I need to have one wood otherwise I cannot activate it now this is really weird why are all expenses one gold why cannot I activate this one I'm not really sure what is happening right now Maybe I should do another harvest, collect some more resources, gold, and see what will happen. Let's do another harvest. And as you can see, nothing is expensive for me, but it will be for others. Hmm. Let's just harvest all of these. These actions is unavailable. What is happening? Why are all the actions unavailable? Why I have to select a place in a city? I am really not sure what is happening right now or am I re or do I know don't know the rules of the game let's see I'll go for this one I'll support the Pope and let's see what he will play oh I have to end the turn first okay if you noticed a little jump cut right here it is because it is hard to film these videos when you have a little baby that is trying to sleep in the next room but he's asleep now I at least I hope so so we can finish this little tutorial sort of review of the digital version of the Lorento il Magnifico and let's see okay so it's my last turn I fulfilled all these I have some military I don't know I think I should probably buy another character and I don't have money to buy another character I cannot buy more territories ah pity it is basically what it is I will get I don't know let's let's pick this one up let's just pick this one up you don't have enough military points yeah I don't have enough military points for the territory come on okay you know what this is the best course of the action and I will use to choose some fate and this guy and my phone is ringing I'll call it in a minute and so yeah uh, this was my last turn and now we see the scores 
and I have some military so I will gladly pay the Vatican so I don't get all the negatives of that and over here now we can see the game overview who has the most terrains the characters if you are the best in that column you will get your flag in it and at the end of the game the computer com the AI completely beat my ass not completely but by five points and he didn't even pay for the church at one point which is super weird and he still come out as a winner but yeah uh, that is that and the winner is Sir Cosimo AI number two and you can now review the charts one more if you want to or you can go back to main menu and basically that is it that is Lorenzo il Magnifico and uh, to be honest I never played the board game the app was the first time first encounter with the Lorenzo that I had and uh, I must say now I am compelled to buy a board game because this app is really doing wonders. It is working really nice. Uh, I don't think there were some bugs over there. I think it was just an error on my play. But overall, I, I liked it. I, I like uh, this this uh, digital version of the game. There, I see there's a lots of upkeep that would probably give me nightmares in a board game. Uh, but I'm really not sure how that is solved there. Over here, the computer really does it well. It tells you everything you can do or not. There is really no room for the error. And yeah, the colors, I wish it, if the colors were a little bit more uh, on a brighter side, not this kind of grayish color, but usually the Euro games like these are in this uh, gray brown palette. And I really don't mind it. So it is after all a great game so the visuals are really not that much of an importance and as I already mentioned like a million times it is an early access so maybe they will change it in a final game but yeah that was that that was Lorenzo Il Magnifico I like how this works now or most definitely played with four players against three AI players because that way the game is much tighter you are fighting for each place to go first because everyone who goes after you will pay extra and that is something and if you go after any, anybody you will pay extra and that's something you really don't want to so the game really offers great great challenge in a four player game i didn't want to play it four player because it will take just too long it it takes uh, long in the two player games and i want to show you just how the game works and everything okay so that is that thank you for watching uh, if you still didn't hit the like button hit the subscribe all of that uh, check out my patreon everything is optional everything is up to you and that is that. Until next time. Pozdrav.